So if you've been trying to share your faith and engage people, I'm sure you have heard this argument before that Christianity was created by Constantine at the Council of Nicaea. This is patently false. Here's why. Constantine did not create Christianity. Listen, Christianity was not created at the Council of Nicaea. Christianity was debated at the Council of Nicaea. In fact, there were two African men, listen up, Hoteps, two African men that were the primary voices at the Council of Nicaea. There was a man by the name of Athanasius. He was also known as the Black Dwarf, even though there's some debate about that nickname, but he was a African man who was the leading voice and he was a voice of orthodoxy. Then there was another voice, another man, African man by the name of Arius. And so here was the argument that took place at the Council of Nicaea. Remember, it was not created, it was debated. And the debate was the essence of Jesus. Was Jesus a created being or is he God, the God man in the flesh? Was he fully God and fully man? So Athanasius was on the right side. And so this is why you, when you read the Nicene Creed, it says begotten and not made because what scripture teaches us in John chapter 17, when Jesus is praying, he talks about the glory that he had before the earth began. And that's why you see, let us create man in our image. You see Trinitarian language in the Old Testament right there in the book of Genesis. The other voice was Arius. Arius was trying to say that Jesus was a created being and the effects of his false doctrine are still at play today because Jehovah's Witnesses refuse to acknowledge the deity of Christ. If you read Titus chapter 2 verse 13, it says our great God and Savior who? Jesus Christ. If you read Col Colossians chapter 1 verse 15, it says the fullness of deity dwells in him. So that's why he can be hungry, tired, and thirsty, but then he can also heal the sick, raise the dead, and multiply a Hebrew happy meal for thousands of people. So also, here's a historical fact that you need to know. Constantine issued the Edict of Milan 12 years before the Council of Nicaea. So in 313, 12 years before the Council of Nicaea that met at 325, he issued the Edict of Milan legalizing Christianity. And so while I don't believe that he was a true Christian, he was just being more expedient, there's no way for him to legalize something that has been invented yet. And so before you come at Christianity, make sure you got your timelines together, make sure you've read a couple of things, family. And Christians, we got to know what we believe and why. Listen, we must stop giving faith-based answers to fact-based questions. Question about the Council of Nicaea is a fact-based question and we got to dig in. Listen, we got nothing to be afraid of. We can defend this faith. Let's go.